This is from China's Gaokao. It's a geometry problem in college entrance exam. Now here we have a half circle, AB diameter. We have CH perpendicular to AB. Of course, C is a tangent point of 9 EF to the circle. We also have AE perpendicular to EF, BF perpendicular to EF. All right, we try to prove these two statements here. Why don't you pause the video, try to prove it yourself. When you're ready, let's continue. Now, of course, it's always good to make these auxiliary lines if you have half circle and a diameter because you have a right triangle. In other words, angle ACB 90 degrees because AB go through the center of the circle. All right, this is what we know. Now, another useful fact in this problem is the alternate segment theorem. So basically what it says, if you have a circle and a tangent line at tangent point C, then the angle between the tangent line and the chord is equal to the other side of the, you know, uh, the angle. In other words, in, in here, the green pair equal to each other. The pink pair, the angles are congruent to each other, all right? So that is a useful theorem we can use for this problem. Let's go back to the problem. Now here, EF is a tangent line. So we claim that angle number two equal angle number one by the alternate segment theorem. Okay, now notice that ACB is right triangle. In other words, that's 90 degrees. So 2 and 3 add up to 90 degrees because the whole thing is a straight line, it's 180 degrees. In other words, 2 plus 3 is 90 degrees. In the meantime, 1 plus 4 is also 90 degrees. But then 1 equal to 2, so 3 has to equal to 4. So this is what we know. Okay, so with that, we claim that we have congruent triangles. Can you spot that? Okay, and you have 3 and 4. Let's go. AC is a common size of the two triangles, 3 equal to 4, and the two right triangles. In other words, angle E is 90 degrees, AHC is 90 degrees, so the two triangles are congruent. ACE and ACH. Now, use a similar argument you can have the other side, you know, the symmetrical almost, right? You, and then you have the congruent triangle BCH and BCF. Now, from these two pairs, we know that CH must equal to CE. In the meantime, CH equal to CF because of the pink pair, right? So we have the proof of the first part. Now, the second part, we try to prove that CH square equal AE and BF. In other words, CH is the geometric mean of AE and BF. If you want, you can pause the video, try to prove it. So here, the highlighted triangles are similar. Why? Again, from earlier theorem, we know that angle 3 equal angle 1, and both are right triangles. I have angle angle, so the two triangles are similar. All right. Now, similarly, the other side, you're going to use the same argument. You can claim that here the highlighted pair are similar to each other. Right? Same argument. Yeah, angle 1 and 2 equal to each other. Now, since we have two similar pairs, right? You know that when triangles are similar, then the sides, the corresponding sides are proportional to each other. So in other words, we have these two equations. Now, notice that AC and BC are common. So the by the transitivity e property of equality, we know that the other side must equal to each other then the cross product gives the one that we try to prove. In other words, CH square equal AE times BF. The proof is done. 
hope you enjoyed the video please like share and subscribe